Okay, let's go ahead and solve this differential equation. We have y double prime plus 5y prime plus 6y equals 0. So this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients, and it's homogeneous because it's equal to 0. So to solve something like this, we start by writing down what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. To find that, you basically look at the order of the derivative here, and you write down a polynomial which the order of the derivative matches the order of the polynomial. So for example, this is a second order differential equation, so it's y double prime, so we write m squared. So the degree, rather, is the same as the order. So here it's plus five. This is order one, so the degree here is one, so m to the first power. And then this is six, and if you really wanna be picky, you can think of it as follows. Whenever you have y, it's the zeroth order derivative. It's really m to the zero. But m to the zero is one, so we don't really have to write it. So we just write the number. And again, this is called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. Now we go through the process of finding the solutions to this equation. So it looks like this is gonna factor. We have an m here and an m here, and m times m is m squared. So we need two numbers that multiply to six, but add to five. So I think two and three are going to be some good candidates because three times two is six, three plus two is five. And these are both plus signs, very nice. We should always check our work here. M times M is M squared. And then three times two is six. And the inner piece is three M. The outer piece is two M. And when you add them, you should get the middle term, which is 5m, so all is good. Whenever you have a product equal to zero, you set each factor equal to zero. And here we have m plus two equals zero. So we get m equals negative three, and here we get m equals negative two. And we have the case, which is distinct real roots. So whenever you have a case where you have distinct real roots, your answer is the following. It's a constant, C1, times E, and then your root is gonna go up here, and then we'll have an X, plus C sub two, and then your E goes here, and then your solution or root goes here, and then you have an X. If we had another answer like M equals five, we would have C3, E to the five X, et cetera. So that'll be the final answer to this problem. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.